Welcome everyone to the AI Research Bytes, this series of short and informative talks showcase cutting edge research work from ServiceNow's AI Research Team. The AI Research Bytes are open to all, especially those interested in keeping up with the fast paced AI research community. Today's session features a 15 minute talk from Abe Puri on lit review as kind of a, an excuse to merge many sources all at once and attribute it in a very, uh, and have attribution in a short and concise text. It will be followed up by a 10 uh, minute Q&A. So as usual, please use the Q&A button on Zoom. So now to Abby. Abby is currently a visiting researcher with us at ServiceNow Research, and he's focusing on cutting edge AR innovation. He has a keen interest in multimodal formation models, large language models, optimization, efficient inference limit. Uh, he also holds a master's degree from UDM in computer science. Up to you, Abe. Thanks, Fanny. So uh, today in this AI Research Bytes talk, I will be presenting LLMs for literature review. Are we there yet? So without any further delay, let's get started. So uh, basically, this is the safe harbor notice, uh, which means everything in this presentation is to the best of my knowledge. In this, uh, so for our agenda today, so basically we will be doing the purpose of a lit review in scientific research. And then we will be focusing on exploring zero shot LLM capabilities for lit reviews. And then we will investigate all those large language model strategies for retrieving and summarizing related work. And then at last, we will be proposing and evaluating a new lit review planning strategy. So first of all, I want to give a very brief about the structure and presentation of research paper. As most of the research paper are typically multi-page works, which are mostly organized into some key section like title, abstract, method, introduction, related work, results, and conclusion. So we are mostly interested in the abstract and the related work. So I will quickly tell you about the abstract provide a concise summary of the entire paper. And then for the related work, you can see we have this, uh, the work done here build upon all these references, which we are citing from the last. And then and as an overall, we have methods, results, conclusion and so on. And then what exactly is a literature review? So this slide addresses the concept of a lit review, focusing on the related work section of a research paper. So basically on my left hand side, you show a typical related work paragraph with all these inline citations in the blue and the red, provided direct links to the previous study, as you can see on my right. So on the right hand side, it displays the corresponding list of references detailing the sources site. And now what exactly is a summary? So summary is a concise restatement of the main points of a text or a document. Basically here I have an example of the extractive summary. So extractive summaries are created by reusing some portion, which can be words, sentence, etc., of the input text vertebrum. And here you can see we have the text from the Wikipedia, which states something. And then in the extractive summary, in most of the search engine, they typically generate extractive summaries from the web pages. And now we have the abstractive summary of the book review, which is the Lords of the Ring and the Return of the King. So abstractive summary in journal rephrases information from the source text akin to how human write summaries. So you, as you can see, uh, an innocent hobby of the sheer journey with eight companions to the fire of Mount Doom to destroy the one ring and the dark lord Soran forever. So it's basically an attractive summary of this particular book. And now I want to show a little bit other use cases that how this lit review can be more useful. So suppose we want to create a comprehensive knowledge base article which can be title of a request a new laptop, which can include policies, procedure, references, and so on. Then we have the description, which can be considered as a prompt that we want to write a KB article that contains all of these stuff, which are policies, requests, and so on. 
Then we have the Gen AI algorithm. We can think of as a modified version of the lit LLM. And then we will have this section of the KB article, which has the title description. And then sections of these section one policies and corresponding content, which is overview of laptop request policy. And basically we will provide them with the references. So it can be very useful in the detail request relevant policy. And so we can see here in the section two, we have the request contact. So much more we can add to that. And for the other example, we can also think of like an AI search or the enhanced dialogue based summarization. So basically in this section, we examine like different retrieval strategies to find related works for a given uh, paper abstract by using the step one, which is like retrieval of relevant sources. And then for the step two, we are synthesizing into cohesive and concise text, which means that uh, we are uh, synthesizing all this concise and cohesive text, combining information from different sources into a very clear and easy to understand summary. So this will help uh, organize the information logically, making it more simpler for the readers to grasp the main points. And now, uh, I just want to give a schematic diagram and a system demonstration of what we are doing exactly here. So as you can see, uh, we are starting for, from in the default setup, we are starting from the research idea slash abstract. And then we summarize the research abstract into the keyword query via using this query. And then it will use to retrieve the relevant paper from the academic search engine, which we call API, which can be of archive, semantic scholar, or we can even use a Google scholar. Then we are using an LLM based re-ranking to select the most relevant paper relative to that particular abstract. And based on those re-ranked result and the user provided summary of their work, we then use the LLM based generative model to generate the lit review, which can optionally controlled by the plan, which I will be going into much depth in the next few slides. So first of all, what exactly how we want to retrieve from the relevant sources. So here is an archive. Archive is an own online repository to publish preprints of scientific papers with many across field like mathematics, physics, computer science, biology, and more. So why archive is a good POC for knowledge bases? So basically it also provides free access to these document before they undergo the peer review. And also due to its extensive up-to-date repository of peer review academic papers, it provides very, it ensures high quality and current information. And then we are here focusing on the data set creation. We constructed the two data set, which is rolling eval August and rolling eval December. Rolling eval is the naming convention here. August and December is basically the paper published on archive in the month of August and December 2023. So why we are even using it? Because we don't want to overlap with the LAMA2 training data and the GPT-4 training data. So we can ensure that we have fresh and un uncontaminated data. So these are very reliable and high quality. And then for the LLM driven keyword generation, we are using LLM to summarize abstract into concise keywords, which captures the essence of the papers. And then we employ these keywords as search queries within academic search APIs, a semantic scholar and archive. And then for the multiple query generation, we are generating multiple query from a single abstract, which can contain up to three to six keywords to enhance the breadth of the search. So by combining these results from multiple queries using the specific heuristic, we, uh, we can optimize the coverage and the relevance. So now retriever with the LLM power search. So we want to re-rank re all of these results with the large language model. So how we are basically doing this. So after the initial retrieval, we are then using LLM to re-rank based on their relevance to the query abstract, which we got. And then we are implementing a permutation generation approach where the large language model is prompted to order papers by relevance without intermediate steps. 
And then we are utilizing these Spectre 2 embeddings, which can leverage a cyber model trained on scientific text for enhance the context understanding. And at last, we are comparing all these LLM-based re-ranking with the embedding-based method to identify the most effective strategies for the accurate retrieval. And then how we are evaluating of the retrieval quality? Basically, we are measuring the coverage of the ground truth paper. As I mentioned, we are using all those semantics, colon, and archive API to source from the particular respective fields. And then we are combining and balancing top results from each query to avoid the duplication. And then we are calculating the recall and the precision to get retrieve the ground truth papers. So this can ensure that we have a very high quality set of research paper. And then I would also like to mention that here, the embedding based method is much better than the, uh, the large language model one because of the document similarity. So now we will focus on generating automatically the related work section. We have the framework setup and the automated prompting where we are using the abstract of the query paper, which can reference as the input. And then we are implementing RAD techniques to enhance the relevance and accuracy of the content generated by the LLM. Then for the automated prompting, we are employing LLMs to automatically generate structured prompts and then utilizing all those automated methods to measure the similarity. And last, we are doing the iterative refinement for iterative editing of generated text to refine and improve its output based on user feedback or addition insights from the research we are doing. Now, for the role of intermediate plan in structure generation, we are basically in the first part, we are developing structured writing plans that outline how the related works section should be organized, which can include specific citation and their placement within the text. Then we are using these plans as detailed guides for LLM. And for the evaluation of the plan, we are conducted both automated and human evaluation. And then we are also adjusting and refining the planning process. And for the user interaction with the plan, we are allowing user to interact with and modify the generated plan before the final text generation occurs, offering a high degree of control over the output. And for the employing interactive tool that let users see the effect of their changes in the real time, which encourage more precise customization, which I will be showing in the demo. So now for the empirical evaluation of the LLM strategies, for the data set and tool, we extended the multi X science corpus, which includes a full text of research paper. And then we have our two own rolling eval data set. And for the evaluation, we are using here the root school via Hugging Face Evaluate Library, which I will be explaining very short. For the baselines and uh, models, we are using the extractive, abstractive, fine-tuned, zero-shot abstractive, and all of these with the plans. And for the advanced LLM approaches, we use both the open source and the closed source model. For the open source, we use the Llama2 chat with its various variants. And then for the closed source, we did GPT 3.5 Turbo and 4. And for the plan based, for which is our method, we did both the open source and the closed source. So basically, the performance of open source and closed source model. Here, first, I will be quickly brief the root score, which is basically a set of metrics used to evaluate the quality of summaries by comparing them to the references of summaries. And then for the zero shot learning, it's basically the ability of a model to perform a task without having explicitly trained on examples of that task. So here you can see on the X axis, we have the Rooch1, Rooch2, Rooch L. Rooch1 basically measures the overlaps of individual words between the generated and the reference summary, which is Unigram. Rooch2, it also acts as the overlap, but it's like the word pairs between the generated text and references summary. And for the Rooch L, we have longest common subsequence to determine the sequential similarity between the generated and reference summary. So here in the results, we have the Llama 2 70B, 70B plan. We did a whole set of experiment in our paper, which we'll be releasing soon. So you can have a look at that time, but here I'm showing you the best result, what we got. So we can see that planning cost constantly improved the result. 
and GPT-4 plan achieve the best result out of all of these. But let's say someone don't want to spend any money and they want to like use the open source model. So we can see here in the Rouge 1, even in Rouge 2 and Rouge L, the Llama 2 70B plan is very comparable to the GPT-3.5 Turbo. So uh, someone can use the open source model and they will get the desired result for the GP till GPT-3.5 Turbo. So here, most of the interesting part is here, which I will be showing you the demo. So in this video, I will be giving a quick tour of the system LLM, Lit LLM, a toolkit for scientific literature review, which I developed with my collaborators in ServiceNow. So this is a toolkit that helps researcher in scientific literature review. It is available on Hugging Face, but uh, and it's like an uh, easy to use interface for writing automated background section, which I mentioned, leveraging the recent success of LLMs. Here we have the abstract where we have put the example of the abstract and here we did the query. We have the LLM summarized keyword query to be used for, uh, for the S2 API. You can see zero shot LLM literature review. And then we will be getting the answer. Meanwhile, on the left hand side, we have the parameters where you can cite the number of papers you want. You can choose the relevance sorting and you can also do the model like you can choose any model you want. And you can see here we have something. And on the left hand side, we have the examples of the abstract query keywords. Imagine someone wants to use their own query keywords. So now we have this uh, output, but it looks very verbose, right? Like if you check, see, it's like citing in the similar fashion, all these things. But here we can use our things like a plan, which I mentioned, which can be a sentence plan. So now we are telling you about how we have the verbose summary for that. And now we will be shifting to the plan. So plan is generate the output in 200 words using five sentences and decide on line one, line two, line three, and goes on. And then we have a very good structure readable for the human plan for this. So here is the demo. And for the closing remarks, we have the achievements of automated lit review with intermediate plans and new data set. And then we have the Gradio demo for the real time testing for the application. And then for the future work, we want to improve the retrieval with embeddings for better coverage and end to end evaluation. We are also thinking to train some model to do it more better. So here we are looking for collaborators. It's uh, still the work in progress. So you can ping me on Teams or else you can ping my advisor, Christopher Paul. Uh, the email ID is mentioned there. For the demo code, we have the barcode here. So you can go on the GitHub repository and use it. Thanks a lot.